I'm Stephanie B, owner and creator of Career Makeover Academy, and today I'm sitting down with Maurizio Olimpio, mobile tech lead at Iterative. I know that you're a firm believer that it's not all about the tech approach and that success is also based on the behaviors and expectations of stakeholders. So what do you expect to achieve with this current project as far as that level of success outside of the tech aspect? Uh, what can I prove for all stakeholders involved in the project? And today in the global market, we have many, many stakeholders. We have stakeholders in other countries. So it's very hard to set expectations for everyone. One way to achieve these goals is uh, like understand the expectation and the behavior of your stakeholders too. We have a stakeholder in the gas station and this is a worker in the gas station. And you have in another point, another stakeholder that is the driver go to a station. And around these two guys, we have many, many of people. We have millions of people. And we have many different uh, expectations. We decide how stakeholder matter more, what was more important, what's more important, uh, the important of the client, the user, or the people uh, around these two guys. So it's, it's very hard to find uh, a line between this, but to, to us, the best way to find this expectation is asking. <laughs> uh, asking questions, getting good questions. Yeah. Making questions. Getting deeper, so, yeah. Getting deeper, go to your clients, go, go to, to your executive, and we go to our clients and understand uh, from, from them. And so what do you expect with, with this project? Oh, I expect a redesign, an entire redesign of my app. Oh, very nice. This is your expectation. I have to talk about that. So I go to another stakeholder, IT guys from our client, and the IT guys has another uh, expectation. And the expectation of these guys is um, a contiguous integration. So I just go to press a button and I generate an app on the App Store, on the Google Play. So <laughs> this is the, the expectation of the IT guys. So we have to think about this too. And we have to put all this information in the backlog, like a master go to decide what kind of expectation we have to to focus on in a moment. So we have to focus on redesign, on planning, and we have to focus on what the IT expectation in the planning. After that, we can achieve our, our goals. So we have to make questions, and this is the best way to find uh, what we have to do. And sometimes the people will go to you and will ask you for something that is uh, around that out of the bounds of the expectation mm -hmm. of the team, the commercial teams. And this is a big problem because uh, the IT guy will go to you and ask for something that will cost much more <laughs> than your uh, uh, client is, is willing to pay. Yeah. <laughs> what you pay for, for them. And how you, you decide what you do. So find the best line between these two stakeholders is very hard and is a kind of art. Is You're a, basically a mediator. Exactly. Like, yeah, just trying to get them to come to some kind of compromise that makes them both happy, but also serves their end client. Exactly that. So you have to decide, uh, how, how can I in, in change the way you talk? when you talk with different people. So yeah, you talk to a CFO versus a tech person, like you're not going to talk to somebody exactly. yeah, then the same way. It's, that's why people are just afraid when the IT guy starts walking into the room and, and gets up to do a meeting because they're like, oh, great, it's going to be 45 minutes of gobbledygook. <laughs> like, I have no idea what this person's saying. They're using technical language. It sounds like they're speaking French or German. I don't know what's going on. 
their ears close, their eyes glaze over, and you are never going to win them over, no matter what you say. <laughs> so it's very, it's very hard to, to find the needs of the people. And the best way is change yourself.